Backshatter has a set of global adjustment functions that let you easily add the most common corrections to your photo. These global adjustments give you options in your photo processing workflow. They can be applied to all image types at any stage in the backscatter removal process. The Global Adjustments panel is accessed using the icon on the right side of the toolbar. Sliders are used to change the values, and the changes to the images are shown when you release the slider. To reset any slider back to its original value, double-click on the text for the slider to the left of it. While the Global Adjustments panel is open, you cannot use the buttons for removing backscatter. You can zoom in and out and pan around the image to see how the adjustments affect the photo. Click the Global Adjustments icon again to close the panel and start removing backscatter. After you close the Global Adjustments panel and start removing backscatter, some of the values on the panel will become permanent and cannot be reduced further. This applies to the noise reduction, local contrast, and dehaze sliders on the panel. The values can be increased but not decreased. Backshatter has sliders for changing color temperature and tint, the same as most photo processing software. Backshatter also has a red-blue slider for adjusting the balance between the red and the blue channels in your image. This can be especially helpful for underwater images because of the way water absorbs red light as it passes through the water. Having an independent control for the red-blue balance gives you more flexibility in achieving the best color balance in your photo. Backshatter has a unique method for keeping the blue colors in your photo the same as recorded with your camera. When you move the temperature and tint slider on an underwater picture, the blue colors can change, making them purplish or greenish. Select the Protect Blue checkbox and the blue color is restored back to what your camera recorded. This Protect Blue function helps you easily keep the original colors of the water areas in the photo while you correct the color of the flora and fauna in the photo. The exposure and contrast sliders provide the ability to correct the exposure or brightness of the image along with the amount of contrast needed. The noise reduction slider reduces the amount of noise in the image. This can be particularly useful when your photo has backscatter because getting rid of noise makes it easier for the backscatter selection commands to work and reduces the false positives that can happen when trying to find backscatter on a noisy image. The local contrast slider enhances the contrast between different parts of the photo, making the edges stand out. It is similar to clarity adjustments in other photo processing software. Increasing local contrast on your photo can also make the backscatter stand out. This is important because you don't want to have to send a photo back and forth between processing software because using Clarity made the backscatter more apparent. The dehaze slider lets you remove haze from a photo and also adds color contrast. For underwater photos, dehaze can correct for images where you didn't get enough light on the foreground and really add some punch to low contrast images. 
Using global adjustments in Backshatter gives you the flexibility to perform photo processing the way that fits your workflow. Use it on raw images to get the color and contrast close to your final image before removing Backscatter. Use it as a final touch on images which you have fixed with Backshatter to get the look you want now that the Backscatter is gone. Or use it in the middle to make sure any low contrast Backscatter is fixed before sending it to another photo processing software. Stay tuned for more videos that will show you how to get the most out of Backshatter.